guys what's up it's jenna welcome back oh my goodness there's so much that i can talk about now that i wasn't able to talk about a couple months ago so i feel like this life update is so much needed you know on my channel we do so much like pranks challenges like really just fun content with my friends but i feel like it's important to like sit down and talk about like what's going on in my life and update you guys because i feel like you guys are like my friends <laughs> and I have to update some of my friends on even some of this stuff. So let's just hop right into it. If you see my hands and like you're concerned that they're red, I'm okay. I learned that I do have like this thing. I, my hands and feet do not get like enough blood. So they turn like red and purple. So if you see my hands being extra red, I'm okay. I'm not in any pain. It's just like what happens. So I don't know. I need to look more into that. But whatever. Let's just get into the video. So obviously this is not like my regular typical setup, but I'm actually here in Nashville right now. I'm at an Airbnb. We actually moved out of my other apartment. My lease was up in October and I'm actually going to be living out of a suitcase for the next two months due to traveling for work and also a little bit of the holidays. Next Friday, I'm going on a writer's retreat to South Carolina. And if you're like, Jenna, what's a writer's retreat? So pretty much it's when an artist and writer and well writers go out and um, go to a location and just write a whole bunch of music. New music coming in the new year. I know that was like a big question asked after DiCaprio. I've been working my little booty off, but I really hope you guys will enjoy it. A lot of you guys have been asking me like, Jenna, are you gonna be in any more movies? Like what's going on there? And yes, so the SAG strike is officially over and I can talk to you guys about this. So I'm super excited. I've had to keep it a secret for a really long time. Last year I was filming in New Orleans for it. If you guys remember this video, I was there filming at that time but the movie that i was filming is called lisa frankenstein and it's gonna be out in theaters next february i have a supporting role in that and i was alongside Catherine newton cole sprouse liza sobriano i mean some really amazing names and i felt really grateful to be a part of it you may or may not have seen the trailer but it is out it's playing before movies in the theater so you might see it if you go to the movies in the trailer you'll see me i'm like in my little yellow sweater i did film a film not too long ago called stay at home and that will probably be out probably next October, hopefully, cross fingers. But yeah, those are like the two newest projects. And then the SAG strike is officially over, so who knows what that will bring opportunity-wise around the corner, but just been lots of prayer and just feeling really grateful about being able to have films that are in the theaters is just kind of a dream come true. Not even kind of, it's really a dream come true. Did I dress up as Megan this year? I did not. I really want to do a video where I like turn myself into Megan, but I need to get like everything. I don't want to do it like this. I want to like get the wig and like the costume and like the outfit. So if that would be something you guys would be interested in, let me know. I think it would be really, really fun. But something really cool was I went to Horror Nights this year and they had a statue of Megan, as you can see right there. And I stood by her and it said like my name on the thing, which was so cool. And afterwards we went into this theater and they played like this whole thing with a bunch of dancers that were dressed up as Megan. And it was so crazy because like I was in the theater listening to my own voice and nobody knew it was me. So I felt like super undercover and it was really fun. Jenna, have you had any failed talking stages? Yes. Um, <laughs> any guy you've like seen on my socials that you think I've been romantic with or like that you thought was my boyfriend was just a talking stage. I have never had a boyfriend ever. It's just been talking stages that have lasted for months <laughs> and one years. So not doing that again. Definitely learn that. But if you had a failed talking stage or a few of them, you're definitely not alone. But what I learned is if the person doesn't commit to you after three months, you dip out. Now the question that y'all always ask me is, are you talking to anyone? Are you dating anyone? Are you seeing anyone? And I actually am. I know, shocking, right? Finally, I'm not like, no, I'm not single. <laughs> I'm gonna get so many texts after this because I haven't even told some people <laughs> about this. But uh, yeah, he's really great. I guess we'll see what happens. I That's something I've really struggled with, guys, is like putting... I don't want to put anything out there like too soon or put anything out so just be patient with me because I did that in the past and it kind of like bit me in the butt and like girls would go after the guys that I was like posting and it was just a mess and like I don't want to get involved in that again so be patient with me but if it goes as I hope it does you'll know in time. <laughs> you and that boy dating from Jensen's video, no it is not him. It is not him. That's the only hint I'll give you. <laughs> Jenna, how'd you get to meet Taylor Swift? So I didn't unfortunately meet her like face to face, but 
um, I was invited to her Eras Tour premiere, and I was invited by YouTube, so I got like an email like two days before, and they're like, hey Jenna, like we'd love to see if you'd want to go, and I was like, if I want to go, I would die to go, so I went, and I went with Violet McGraw, who plays Katie and Megan, and her and I were on top of the world, literally on cloud nine the entire night, and Taylor came into each and every theater and had a speech, and I was like, I'm in the same room as Taylor Swift right now. That is crazy. And it was just, ugh. The Swifty in me was screaming. What is it like living and traveling between two states all the time? So if you guys didn't know this about me, I don't live in one place. I live in two places. I live in both Los Angeles and Nashville because wherever I'm working is where I'm at. So pretty much whenever I'm working in the acting space, I'm in LA. And whenever I'm working in the music space, I'm in Nashville. So I'm constantly hopping on flights back and forth probably like every two weeks it's insane i'm on a plane a lot but i just feel really grateful because i'm being able to do the careers that i've been wanting to do ever since i was young so to be able to have the opportunity in both cities is a dream come true for me so i feel really grateful but it can get very tricky and i also am managing a youtube channel at the same time and i want to deliver great videos for you guys each week but juggling acting music and social media can be very tricky but i think i got it down for the most part sometimes it's stressful because i always want to deliver the best content for you guys and i always want just my videos to be something that i'm proud of and you guys enjoy watching so that can be a little like oh my goodness like i hope this video was fun enough for them did you sing the titanium part in megan i did yeah that's me uh it was so funny because when we sang it we sang it so many different ways so at the premiere like i didn't know which one they were going to use <laughs> so i was kind of nervous about that because i was like are they going to use this one or this one because they had me sing it like bad and good and excellent and weird and like barney and like all these different things so i didn't know which one they were going to pick Jenna, do you have any advice on how to get over an ex-friend? I do. I think this year I realized that <laughs> having like a friend breakup is just as hard as a guy breakup. It's really, really hard, especially if it's like more than one. It's just a lot. I think the thing with friends is like there's friends that you have for reasons, seasons, and lifetimes. And it's so hard because... You care for this person so deeply but i think the best thing is like friendships are so based upon mutuality and if that person's not giving you the same energy or like something happened and it's just not right anymore i think the best thing you can do is just move forward always be nice to them but you know respect that it's just not the same as it was and that's like the hardest thing ever like it even like hurt me to think of that because i have some of that in my own life where i look back and i'm like ah, like, that stinks that we're not close anymore. Like, that really hurts. But, you know, things happen, life happens, you know, people move, people change, people expand, people realize that, hey, this is not what's for me right now, and that's just the reality of what it is. If I were to see them out, I'm never gonna, you know, like, disregard them. Like, I'm always gonna go give them a hug. Because I think that's the thing, too, is, like, if you see somebody that you used to be close with out, why do you want to like ignore them and pretend they're like not there? Like that's something I'll never understand. Like that happens out in LA so much at events. It's like people knew each other and then they just pretend that they don't even exist. It's like, what's the point? It's like, I've been to your house or like, we've had conversations. Why are you pretending like I'm not there? How's your first CMAs? Truly such a dream come true, you guys. I can't even believe that I went. This was my outfit. And then I was actually hosting on the carpet for Music Mayhem. So I'll insert some clips from that. Hello, hello! Hi, I'm Jenna. Nice to meet you. Why he needs to watch it? You need to. It's really not that scary. It's more suspenseful. Oh my god, it scared the hell out of me just to cover. <laughs> no, trust, trust. You gotta watch All it right. now. I'm gonna promise? go watch it in a dark room by myself. I mean, oh, if you, you want to be scared, it? that's the way to do it. Yeah, I want to be scared. Okay, then do, do it. it. I want to be scared. You gotta do it. You gotta go full in. All right. <laughs> I can't even believe that was like real. You guys, I got to talk to so many people that I looked up to in the country space and. It was just, ugh, my feet were hurting by the end of the night. I will say that. I was standing from like 2.30 to 7 and then I got to like sit down. But I still have like some blisters from those shoes because I was standing in them for so long. But every minute was so worth it. I really felt so honored and it was just a dream come true. Like I was like, someone pinch me. This is not real. Are you dating Jack Griffo? I'm dating Jack Griffo in the stay-at-home movie. So... 
In the movies, yes, but in real life, no. <laughs> what are your big plans for the holidays? So I'm going to Texas for Christmas, but I am going to Europe in December and I'm so excited. I don't know if y'all knew, but my mom is Swedish and my first language was Swedish. And um, I'm just so excited to go back to Europe. We haven't been to Europe in like ever. So I'm so excited, but stay tuned. I'll definitely be doing a lot of content when I'm there. So. You won't miss out for sure. I'm gonna be stocking up all the Christmas fun snowy content for you guys. But you guys, I think that's it for the updates for now. I hope you enjoy this video though. You know, I know that I do pranks and challenges and everything like that typically, but I like to throw in like these more like sit down videos every once in a while just to update you guys on my life and just like the more personal aspects of my life. So hopefully you enjoy that. Hopefully you enjoy this. And if you made it to the end, comment a red heart so I know you made it to the end. And then yeah, that's it. I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon and yeah, bye.